I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a faint growl at the moment. It's so mad. You think there's something in there? Absolutely. But over here is the golden Mustang. You guys have been doing well. If you're new around here, my name is Steve Rowan. I'm going to Epic Avengers every single week. Today I'm with Abandoned Nashville, aka Jeremy. What's up, guys? Yeah, so tell me about yourself. Well, I'm an explorer, photographer, Instagrammer, YouTube, and uh, rock star. Whatever. <laughs> whatever, man. Yo, he plays the drums insanely, so he's he knows his music too. Yeah, man. But we were just driving down the road, and he's actually driven past this place many, many times. And this was this is located in the middle of nowhere. It was a hike to get here. You have no idea. Um, found a little snake by a river, <laughs> which is pretty cool. And a turtle. And a turtle. Yeah, we found a turtle. It's today has been like a zoo, <laughs> just seeing all kinds of animals. <laughs> um, but yeah, this home is uh, it's pretty interesting. We haven't been inside yet, but yeah, today we take a look. But there are rumors that an elderly woman used to live here and she just passed away. This home has been here since like the 1950s. Uh, the elderly woman passed away in the early 2000s. And she's been sitting abandoned like this for a very, very long time. So yeah, it's an abandoned grandma's house. And it's always interesting exploring those type of houses. So here we are down the south. I'm gonna check one out for the first time. Guys, before that adventure begins, so let's smash that thumbs up button. Let's get this video to over 5,000 thumbs up. Let's get going with the adventure. Now, before the adventure begins, I just want to say a big thank you to today's sponsor, Omaze. Omaze exists to empower nonprofits to do their world changing work. Traditional nonprofit marketing includes events that are usually only once or twice a year, pricey to organize, and accessible to only those that can afford it. Omaze offers dream come true experiences online that anyone can win. Through the Omaze platform, people have supported over 350 charities, driving awareness and raising significantly more money than traditional fundraising methods. Now hear this, you have a chance to win a dream house in Austin, Texas or $1.3 million in cash. That's right, I'm super excited to announce that I've partnered with Omaze to offer you the chance to win one of their biggest prizes yet. A beautiful 6 bedroom, 5 bath dream house in Texas or $1.3 million cash. All you have to do is go to omaze.com slash Ronin and enter for your chance to win. Even better, every donation benefits a great cause. Now, if you've ever dreamed of owning a beautiful 5,000 square foot estate, this is officially your chance. Or if you just want $1.3 million cash, now's your chance too. Let me remind you again, go to omaze.com slash Ronin and enter now. Best of all, every donation supports Folds of Honors Foundation, which provides educational scholarships to the spouses and children of Americans' fallen or disabled service members. Your support could help a hero's loved ones graduate, pursue their career, and build a life that honors their veteran. So hurry up, go there, donate, and best of luck. Link down in the description. I also want to say a big thank you to our newest patron supporters, Adrian F., Real Man Algernon, Cindy Rice, and Paula James. If you wish to support the channel, head over down to the Patreon link in the description below. <sighs> okay, guys. What? I hope I wish you guys saw that, but my friend right now, a band in Nashville, he just went to check out the cabin and there's a turkey vulture. I just saw it fly through the window. But we just entered the kitchen. Funny thing is, I've been hearing something upstairs. And we're gonna go check it out. You guys will be seeing a lot of cool things. Um, it's like a time capsule. But it also has like a story of someone that used to live here and passed away. From the looks of it, there's really nothing left. And I'm starting from the kitchen just because this home, like the layout of it is pretty linear. You go through the kitchen, through the living room, upstairs to the bedrooms and that's about it 
But what I really like about this is that like some things are still left behind. I'm seeing a little bit of vintage stuff. So I think it'll be an interesting explore. But right after this exploration, tomorrow, we're gonna be checking out this abandoned mansion. So I might combine it all into one video. So yeah, we're gonna start off at this house first though. So through the kitchen leads to the backyard. And look at the crutches. The handle is actually like a beehive or a wasp's nest. Yo, Jeremy. I think you scared the turkey vulture inside the house now. I think it's upstairs. Guys, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a faint growl at the moment. This thing sounds mad. I can hear Come outside, you can really hear. Oh wait, no, it's probably coming in. No, there was one up there and there's one. And there's two of, there. there's two of them? They're pissed off. I think their nest is in here. Oh gosh. But I think that's what I was hearing when I was banging on the walls. Upstairs. Yeah. I can hear something moving around upstairs. And I'm like, is that Jeremy? Is that is that you? Did you like come from the front? That is not me. Was that you? No. I heard something move up there. It sounds like it's literally running in circles. Like it's like doesn't know how to get out. It's more scared of us than we are scared of well, it. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. Speak for yourself. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was. Damn. I don't know what it is, dude. Honestly, my biggest fear is getting sprayed by a skunk. Dude, that would suck. Dude, there's so many animals. Oh, I can see it. It's like climb on the roof. Is it on that roof? Yeah. Literally on the ceiling. Dude, what kind of vulture is that? You said it was a turkey vulture? It's a demon vulture. It sounds like a demon vulture. It's so mad. I bet it has a nest in there. It's yeah. If there's an animal upstairs, so be it. It's not really doing anything to us. So I think it's like more scared of us than we are. So yeah, I think I'll just leave it alone. I think it's pretty harmless. I just found the power box. Looks different from what I'm used to. So this place has definitely been explored by an explorer. Just because how clean the floor is and how the chairs are set up. I feel like there was like a portrait shoot that went on here and some model was sitting there. Here's the living room. It's kind of like a time capsule down here. I like that yellow sofa. But here's what tells the story about this place. Right here on this bed. Just the way it's set up, you know like someone el elderly We'll be laying here and probably taken care of letters and photos there's the photo of the family it's sticking right on this envelope they seem pretty new i bet these photos were taken around like maybe 2010 ish there's not really a date or maybe there is oh wow this these photos were taken back in 2003 so that was about like 18 years ago. And here's a letter. I don't think it was a relative. It looks like it was sent from a friend. I'm gonna block the name and address or anything important. So you guys can read this because it's a lot to read. So you can pause your screen and take a look. I think it's true, like an elderly woman probably lived in here. She's probably a widow. Most of the things here are like female belongings. I haven't seen anything that really belonged to a male. Um, and it's weird, you know, you just got one twin size bed meant for one person. And the letter asks how she was feeling. So 
I think she was sick. She passed away. And it confirms why this place was abandoned. All right, now before we go upstairs, there's another room down here. I guess it used to be some sort of bedroom too. The reason I can tell is because of these two mattresses. Here's the bathroom. Wow, it's in pristine condition, guys. It's really clean, surprisingly. I wonder if this still has water. Nope, you can't really turn it. Well, that's cool. And that door leads to the kitchen. Jeremy's gonna head out, take some photos of the exterior. I'm gonna venture upstairs by myself, guys. So watch out for the sofa, or yes, the, the bed, the mattress. The mattress. To the left, yeah. You think there's something in there? Absolutely. <sighs> okay. Dang. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Well, if you hear me scream, you know. I'm coming after. Yeah. <laughs> Guns blazing. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is super hot up here. It's like a sauna. But I'm not hearing no animal so far. So apparently the animals somewhere in this room, like a four-legged creature. And then there's a vulture here in this room. Oh man. Oh I'm gonna eat this. If something pops up. So apparently it's hiding in there. There's really nothing in here, so yeah. Let's check this room. I'm guessing the bird is like somewhere up in the attic, which I have no clue where the entrance is. Or it could be somewhere in the corner over here. Not much to really see in here. All right, we pretty much checked out every room, safe and sound. Didn't have to scream for help. <laughs> oh, that feels so much better. So much cooler down here. But I think we're gonna head outside. And uh, yeah, I think we'll end the tour here. Got so many clothes being packed here. Kinda makes me think that people tried stealing the clothes in the house. They're all just right on the floor next to the entrance. It is. Yeah. There's nothing in that, it's just like a little Okay, yeah, we can check that out. Alright, so apparently there's a barn. We're gonna check that out right now. I think over there is someone else's backyard. But this is totally abandoned. I think this boat right here is a lot better. It would be cooler for a photo. Did you find ticks on you? Yeah. Yeah, I found like two on my pants. Oh, really? Yeah. I have some uh, spray in my car, I think. Okay, yeah. yeah now, I think this really confirms it that this was in the state of an old person and they just passed away.
super curious what's in the barn now. Man, it's starting to become that season again. I just, I just flicked another tick off of me. We saw a deer, so it's kind of a good sign to know that there's like probably ticks around. Anything? There's the inside of a barn. Dude, I can hear a vulture in here too. I can hear it growling somewhere up there. Wow, there's so many beehives and nests. It's probably infested with bees during the summer. Dude, this used to be a horse stable. I can just tell. Super curious. <laughs> Literally, I just pushed it and just cut the rope. So you can kind of tell no one's been here in forever. It's another entrance. Yeah, we can hardly tell where the walkway is now because everything's so overgrown. It kind of looks like a vault. Hmm, not sure what that could be. But a lot of these things were for horses. Like, I know that thing is used to clean the horses. We just found an abandoned horse stable. I wonder how many horses they owned. You still in there? Yeah. Wow, this is so sick. This is pretty neat. I've never seen anything like this before. I just find it so fascinating. Like, what gave them this idea? Or how was the process like? You know, at a time it must have been fun working on this. And then life just moves on and you just pass away. I don't even think this was completed. I feel like they were just trying to convert this into like a little shed in the back. Would've been so sick. Imagine having a couch here and a TV. Just like a little cool chill area, you know? Now the next day I went to explore an abandoned mansion. It was built by its owners in the 1970s and has remained abandoned since they died. My favorite part is that this place still has a Ford Mustang in the garage left abandoned. It's a classic orange Ford Mustang that sits under the carport in the property, which has remained untouched for around 20 years. Anyway, I'm joined here by the crew right now. We got Bando fam right there. Boom, boom. <laughs> and we got Big Banks. So I guess inside this mansion, there's still power. Okay, that's 
creepy. I can now see the lights turned on inside. Alright, so we just made it inside. Let's try not to make too much noise in here. the gym inside. In situations like this, you just want to stick together. So I'll try to find them. Sketch out by that. That could like fall on top of someone. Just go walk slowly. I think someone's definitely living here. Like a homeless person, like a squatter. It's too clean. You have things like kind of organized. What's, what's in there? I see like there's TVs, but it looks like somebody lives there. Like, it looks like a squatter. Like, there's a squatter? Was that weird? But I can't tell. We have big screen TVs in here. I think they can definitely turn on because look. There's some power. It's plugged in, so it definitely works. Yeah, no. Yeah, I wouldn't go out there either. If anything, the homeless person could be up in the roof. Hey, I think that lawnmower is getting closer. It's going on now. Watch that stuff. I think I think we should leave soon, honestly. to show you guys how this building interior is as much as possible and then we'll try to find the golden mustang outside gosh this is from a horror movie yeah i'm getting bad vibes after you so we just made it back in the front i figured you know i might as well just show you guys the exterior and focus on that and the golden Mustang. I mean, I love how it looks. I can't believe it's just left like this. And I wonder who's paying the electric bill for this. But over here is the golden Mustang. There's a lot of bees here. But we just found the gold Mustang. <sighs> wow, this looks so cool. Sucks that there's stuff on top of it. So that's how it looks like. You know, I was expecting it to look more gold. It's kind of an orange color. I don't know why they nicknamed this the Gold Mustang, but I'm still gonna call it that because that sounds badass still. I think it was gold. Oh, you think it was a gold and then it kind of faded? I think it was more, a little bit more gold than this, but you, you can tell. You can close it. I don't know if you can hear that bussing, but we have a lot of carpenter bees just drilling the wood. Yeah. Oh, I kind of want to 
get a look at the inside of this. Damn, it is so dusty. There's still clothes in the back. Oh, look at that dashboard. And she was so overgrown with moss. Damn, you can't even like can't even go through the windshield now. It's so dirty. All right, what's up, guys? Uh, thank you so much for making it through the end. I forgot to do my outro, so I gotta do it right here. Um, it's currently 6.30 a.m. in the morning. I haven't really slept. I've been editing this video all night, and I finally just got it done. Um, but I really hope you guys did enjoy this. These were some of the most amazing places I've filmed down in the south. And both of these videos, they weren't really enough footage for each location, so I just combined them together. And I hope that worked out for all y'all. just been chilling here in Florida, hanging out at my friend's place. And, um... I'll probably be back on the road pretty soon, but overall I've been here for about a month after filming 26 videos. Uh, I was just everywhere down the south and just needed a good little break. But thank you again. Um, if you did enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button bell. Leave your comments and thoughts down below. would love to hear all about them. And yeah, until next time guys, I'll see you all Saturday, 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Peace.